Good evening, family. Good evening, our friends on Facebook and followers, and also our sus subscribers on our YouTube channel. I also send my greetings to our very own Mana Tabernacle family. It's a wonderful evening as we begin this week. Allow me just to send my greetings to our senior pastor, Pastor Joylene, who loves us so much. And um, she was sharing with us during the Sunday service yesterday that, you know, God still has something in store for us. In fact, he has a great assignment for us. Even in this year, God is not silent. He's still speaking. It just depends on which side or rather how positioned are you to hear and listen and act upon the word of God. He's still speaking to us through the word of God. And that is why we also continue with these broadcasts, with the services to make sure that we are still aligned to what God is doing. Even in these trying times, he still wants us to fulfill his purpose. He still wants us to fulfill the assignment that which he has sent us to fulfill on earth. Allow me also to send our greetings to our general overseer, Pastor Strike. We love you so much and we continue to pray even for you, for God to renew your strength as you always make sure that you put things together for this um, Mana TV to keep running and to keep improving to impact lives. Allow me, Mana Tabernacle, also to appreciate you for your love as we continue to come to your screens. I also appreciate our wonderful pastors, Pastor Mashangu, uh, Pastor Mukwena, and our other pastors. We love you so much for sharing the word of God. We really appreciate, you know, we are dwelling in God's word every day of our lives. To Kalanga, Mr. Kalanga, we appreciate you so much. Dr. Mangangi, we appreciate you so much. And the conversation man to man with Pastor Strike which um, continues to stir serious conversations in our families and in our communities. We also appreciate our lovely God-fearing generation. It's awesome to see you guys growing and making sure that you take ownership of your, of your services and your sessions. We love you so much. May God bless you. Allow me this evening as we continue on um, the foundation that our Father has laid that we are crossing over to the other side and i continue on the theme of my teaching that worship in the midst of storms praise and worship in the midst of storms and you will agree with me that we have went into depth and detail in terms of how we can praise god how we can worship god and what god expects from us as we worship him and 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 the different ways in which we can praise and worship god it is exciting times where god really expects from us even in these times to praise him to worship him and give him the glory because indeed as our senior pastor was saying there is an assignment and part of that assignment is for us to praise god part of us of, of that assignment is for us to worship him each and every day of our lives and we learned last week in fact that for the past two weeks um, on the importance of a song in our praising God in our worship to God you know it's so important that we sing songs even though we did mention that singing is not the only medium or tool to praise God but one of the most important particularly when we're together as brethren even when you are singing to God worshiping God and in the comfort of your own homes and we learned about the different categories of songs that we can sing unto God we spoke about the celebratory songs songs of thanksgiving and praise songs of declaration songs that are uh, making petitions or rather prayers unto God worship songs and last week we went into depth in terms of the spiritual songs or some may call it spontaneous worship and singing a new song unto God, singing a spiritual song unto God out of the revelation, out of the experience of, 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 of the intimacy with God. And I love that so much because that is my passion. That is what I always want to experience, a new song unto God because that is a love song. I did mention that as, as, as we talk about a natural relationship between a husband and a wife, that is the same intimacy spiritually when we talk about worship because worship brings us to to the intimate relationship with god where we're able to commune and share our love 
and 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 through worship as we adore him as we we exalt his name so this is exciting to me this is what i'm passionate about and this is what i'm passionate to teach each one of us and actually to remind each one of us of the importance of worship unto god because we we read in colossian colossians 1 verse 16 that we we have been created for the pleasure of god we've been created to worship him and that is why it's important even in these times to worship god praise him the right way the way that god expects the way that god accepts and that is why it's important for us to learn and it is when we understand it is when we've learned something that will be able to do it effectively and it will have the impact as we do it because we're not doing it to please ourselves we are not doing something that will tickle our fences but but not 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 for us to feel good but this is all done for the glory for for the adoration for the magnifying of god and glorifying him and and that is when we can say we have done it and we have done it well but it's important for us to to understand we also learned that the different songs that we sing they can either be horizontal meaning i can be singing to address a particular situation i can be singing to address or rather um, encourage a fellow brother a fellow sister or a brethren and they are vertical songs there are these are songs that are directed to god they go directly to him to adore him to worship him and to praise him and it is important for us as 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 our general overseer in my conversation with him he said you know when we talk about the horizontal and the vertical it's important that we we come to a point where we do not end on the horizontal on the surface on on the entry level of praise and worship we need to get to a point where we directly sing unto god and that is why it's important for us to understand this thing so that we're able to do it with meaning and impact and it is important for us to to go through these things i allow me this evening to also touch briefly um i believe i'll speak briefly today this evening on the importance of music in praise and worship remember we spoke about the importance of song or of a song in praise and worship so this evening we just want to touch a bit on the importance of music in 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 worship in praise and worship you'll understand that in the modern church we 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 are able to or rather we have become so dependent or rather uh, so accustomed to 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 musical instruments and and we we can see in the earlier church rather or in the olden days where uh, we were not privileged enough to or we we didn't re really have access to these things we would still sing unto god we'll still clap our hands we'll still dance in the presence of the lord and enjoy ourselves without the instrument some maybe who had the privilege would even use the african or men rather um things that are just made out of wood or things that we can just make sounds out of but right now we know that in churches um even musicians worship leaders they they use musical instruments to as an aid or rather as another tool to help us and assist us in singing to god in expressing our worship and praise unto god and it is important even in these times for us to to look at that why is it important to understand the contribution that music or other instruments they have in helping us to worship god even better and more effective i i did mention as we're talking about a song and i will mention again when we talk about music that music is is not the main thing it's 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 not it's not it's not the main um, um ingredient in our praise and worship but it is just another tool to assist us to get to a point where collectively with our singing with our dancing and all these things we're able to make a, an expression that goes unto god and we lift this worship we live this praise as a memorial something that is a sweet smelling aroma uh, something that is well pleasing unto god because the main aim is for the pleasure of god so we're looking at 
the, the importance of music as we praise God and we worship Him. I did say that we are still on the theme, we're crossing over to the other side and we're trusting God that even when we get to back to our churches, we will be able to understand these things better and be able to enjoy ourselves in the, in the presence of the Lord. And we, we, we understand that the, the purpose rather of, of music is for us to help is for to is, it's there to help us to praise God even better and uh, like I said in the olden days we didn't really have the the luxury or rather the privilege to be using these things but now we see that in in praise and worship we see the singing we see the music we see even the musicians but now I did say that I'm talking to you as a believer I'm talking to you as a worshiper so I'm not talking to someone who plays instruments I'm not talking to someone who sings but to you as a worshiper of God because you need the collection of all these beats and pieces for you to understand what you're doing and even when it comes uh, or the, the time comes for us to meet as brethren and enjoy ourselves in the presence of the Lord we understand what are we doing as, as, as a memorial or as our sacrifice that we're lifting unto God as much as music is our singing is is not about our feelings is not meant for us it's not meant to 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 emotionally uh, satisfy us or rather to make us feel good the same with musical instruments but they are meant for the glory of God we read Psalms 33 uh, verses 3 in the amplified version it says sing to him a new song and it says play skillfully on strings uh, and another version or other versions will say in harps with a loud and a joyful sound so we get to see that our singing can also be accompanied by musical instruments as we express our worship not to say we cannot worship god in singing or in other ways without instruments but it, it also becomes another tool or, or medium to express uh, our worship unto god so all this is meant for god's pleasure hence um like I said of, of songs um, that there is a demand that the congregation usually lays upon the singer or the worship leader we also see that there is a demand that is laid upon musicians because we want the sound the, the guitar the piano the drums to to really sound good so that I can maybe worship God better uh, but we we are going to see how how that helps us to worship God even effectively so, so we get to see from this scripture, Psalm 33, verse 3, that the usage or rather the inclusion of, of musical instruments in our praise and worship is, 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 is a godly thing. I did mention when we started talking about worship that we are all wired to worship God. All of us, we are created to worship God. It, it just depends what we are worshiping, what we are exalting, what we are lifting up. So some will be dedicated into the worship of idols. And, and we get to see, even in our African uh, uh, arrangements or African setup, uh, the worship of idols. You also see the playing of, of instruments or drums and all these things. But this uh, concept of using musical instruments did not start there it did not start uh, with a man it did not start as a worldly thing God initiated this and this is biblical in its true sense it's it's it's, it's godly it's a God it's it's God's concept so we should understand it in that way and 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 perceive it in that way so it, it started with god and that is why it's important for us to learn about its importance and also we to understand that it is a a spiritual act and that is what god expects from us um we read second chronicles 5 verses 11 to 14 quickly in the amplified version it says when the priests this is when we um talking about the ark of the covenant or the ark of the lord when the priests came out of the holy place for all the priests who were present had sanctified themselves separating them from everything unclean without regard to their assigned divisions so these priests were 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 allocated different responsibilities as we're looking at uh, the ark of the lord and as they were giving their worship unto god 
but they they made sure that they they, they separated themselves to a point where they 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 were un, they they were in a position where they are able to worship God in 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 a purified way, if I may put it that way. So verse twelve says, and all the Levitical singers, Asaph, Haman, Jedithan, and with this with their sons and relatives, clothed in fine linen and cymbals, harps and lays. These are the musical instruments. Were standing at the east end of the altar, and with them a hundred and twenty priests blowing trumpets. In the unison, when the trumpeters and the singers were to make themselves heard with one voice, praising and thanking the Lord, and when they raised their voices, accompanied by the trumpets and the cymbals um, and other instruments of music, and when they praised the Lord, saying, For He is good, for His mercy and loving kindness endures forever. Then the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud, so that the priests could remain could not remain standing to minister because of the cloud uh, for the glory and the brilliance of god of the lord filled the house of god so in in in, in this passage of scripture we see the connection the bible says when 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 they were singing in unison meaning the singers the songs and the trumpets and the harps and the musical instruments were all in unison meaning they were all in a harmony singing praises unto god giving worship and adoration unto god and this is where we see when the the cloud of the lord or rather the presence of the lord fell upon them and they could not even do anything in fact they couldn't even continue ministering so we see the importance of of the element of musical instruments as an aid to help us or rather as, as as an inclusion into our praising and worshiping god particularly when we're singing to god so we also see in psalms 150 uh, f- from verses 1 until 6 praise the lord praise god in his sanctuary i'm reading from the amplified version praise him in his mighty heavens praise him for his mighty acts praise him according to the abundance of his grace praise him with a trumpet sound Praise him with a harp and lay. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with stringed instruments and flute. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with loud cymbals. Let everything that has breath and every breath of life praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we get to see from this passage of scriptures that they, 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 they is a certain level or rather it is important for us even as we worship him uh, that we sing and that we also sing with the inclusion or in unison with with musical instruments so in a church setting where we are singing to god um i did say that this is just to make us understand why it's important for us to to be using musical instruments i did say that it's not for our pleasure it's not for us to make us feel good or rather to fill the gaps musicians would understand this better but to you and i as believers to you and i as worshipers of god to you and i or as those who have dedicated themselves as according to the the, the instruction of god upon man as we're created to worship him we should be able to appreciate the the instrument and and the music behind the songs that we sing even now before we even go to our churches that is why it's important even for us to play songs we can look for songs in the different um, uh, music platforms where we can be able to to google or rather uh, research or rather search for songs that can help us worship him you don't have to even be singing uh, 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 just by yourselves you can even use these music resources to help you even worship him because the worship leaders that have recorded songs they are there to minister to us and to help us sing i did say in the past two three weeks that we want to make this more practical so that you are able to apply it in your day-to-day lives and and you're able to make sense out of it and be able to do it in an in in an effective way so i'm saying when we are singing to god if if you have the privilege to have musical songs 
or, or rather songs that are with instruments and you're able to sing along wherever you are in the comfort of your own home you can be able to worship god yes when if you also prefer to sing without musical instruments um, uh, in the comfort of your own home you are still uh, able to express yourself for the glory of god all this is made for god's glory all this is made for god's pleasure so when we play instruments when the musicians play that is why i said the concept of of musical instruments is is a godly concept it is a spiritual concept and this will also help us in terms of how we perceive musicians even in our churches because they have been called by god to play these instruments as an act of worship as part of of our sacrifice unto god and i also want to challenge those musicians that are watching that you are called as worshipers you're not just called to play that keyboard you're not just called to play that that those drums but you 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 are co-laborers you you are part of the picture in praise and worship and also to us as believers we should be able to appreciate that about 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 them as as i conclude i i just want us to look at the 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 man who was called to to head the ministry of worship in in heaven and and we 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 see that model we see uh that story relayed even though it's not in so many ways uh but we see uh that that reflection or that shadow if i may put it that way of 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 this man who was um or this angel this anointed angel who was anointed for the ministry of worship and that is lucifer read with me in the book of ezekiel 28 verses 11 to 18. the bible says or the word of god says moreover the word of the lord came to me saying son of man take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre, and say to him thus say say the lord god you were the seal of perfection this referring to lucifer full of wisdom and perfect in beauty you were in eden the garden of god every precious stone was your covering i just want you to to listen to how the the design and and the things that i used to describe how this man looked like the the sardias the topaz and diamond the burial the onyx the jasper the sapphire, the turquoise, and the emerald with gold. It's talking about the different precious stones that 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 were, were around this 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 angel. The workmanship. I want you to listen to this. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you the day you were created. You were created. You were the anointed cherub who covers and i established you you were on the holy mountain of god you walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones so we get to see the 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 resemblance of lucifer as an angel of worship or as he was entrusted with worship it says he he was covered in the different precious stones and and it also says that he was an anointed cherub meaning an, an, an anointed angel and and it says he was the workmanship or he, the workmanship of your timbrels and pipes so these when we look at the word timbrel and pipes it, re, it it refers to flutes it refers to different types of instruments so we see that around lucifer as an angel who was anointed for the ministry of worship we see the element of musical instruments so this is just to say that this is a godly concept god designed the concept of praising god and using musical instruments as one of the tools and the mediums in 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 carrying our worship to god and i want to challenge us uh, we see the the nice things that are said in in the scripture about lucifer but we know where lucifer ended up because of his pride and and we know that he is now the the devil or the evil one but i don't want us to focus on that i want us to see the good things that are said and this said to me that as a an angel anointed for worship 
same applies to us as we give our worship to God. As we talk about the sweet smelling aroma worship that is expected by God. We should be in a space, we should be in a position where we, we prepare what is best for our God in our praise and worship. So we give unto God, as I said in the previous uh, sessions, that we give unto God the best of our worship. He expects from us to, to express out of our love, out of what we have experienced in Him, the, the holistic and, and, and the complete and, and, and the excitement that, that we need to bring as we produce or rather lift our worship unto Him. So I believe you, we have learned something, as I said, I'll share briefly. I believe we have learned something about the teaching or rather the element of musical instruments in expressing our praise and worship unto God. Even as we see it in our churches, even as we see it um, uh, done in, in the worship ministries uh, uh, and, and ministers that come to bless us with songs. I believe we've learned something and we've picked up the importance of of what we're doing so that we're able to do it more effectively for the glory of God. All, all of these things, they are to come together to, to, for the glory of God, for the pleasure and the enjoyment of our Father. May you be blessed. May you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead of you knowing that God has given you an assignment. Uh, God still expects from you to fulfill that which he has sent you to do. May you have a blessed evening and a wonderful week ahead. Amen.